Welcome to the video tutorial on EBSCOhost databases. In this tutorial, you'll learn some tips for using these databases to find sources for your research. All of the databases that use the EBSCOhost platform share a search interface and can even be searched at the same time. One EBSCO database that is commonly known to students is Academic Search Complete. We'll use that database today. Let's enter our search terms at the top of the page. For this example, we'll look for research on parenting and communication. But wait! Before we click search, there are a few other tools to note. First, we want results that combine these two terms, so we're going to leave the word and selected. But if we wanted search results that related only to parenting and not communication, we would use the word not. Or is a good option when you've entered synonyms in the two search boxes. Below the search terms, there are a large number of search options. The full text box is selected by default. This will make sure that you don't receive any results where only a summary is available. If your instructor has asked you to find only scholarly or peer-reviewed articles, the peer-reviewed checkbox will help narrow your search results. Now that we've learned a little more about the features on this page, let's select Search. Each result displays information to help you decide whether it would be useful. There's a title, abstract or summary, authors, and information about the place and date of publication. There's also information about the type of source that this is. This example is an academic journal article. If we scroll down on this page, we can see an example that is a periodical or magazine article. Coming back up to the top of the page, you can see that we have 1600 search results. This is definitely more results than we can comfortably comb through. So let's look at some filters for narrowing our results. There are a large number of search filters located on the left side of the page. We still have the option to select only peer-reviewed results, and we can also narrow the date of publication, for example, to look at articles published only within the last 10 years. More search filters are located below these options. Because our search terms were pretty broad, we received a mix of very different articles, all related to aspects of parenting and communication. Testing and refining your searches is part of the research process. How can we find good ideas for future searches? One way you can do this is by investigating an article that seems pretty related to your topic. When I click on the title, I'm taken to an article's record page. On the record page, I can see information about the article. If I want to read this article, I can use the PDF full text link on the left, or I can scroll down on the page and see additional information. You'll see that we can again read the abstract of the article. There are also subject terms located above the abstract. These are both great ways to find possible keywords for your future searches. With the subject terms, you can even click on a subject term and see all of the items in the database that are marked as being related to that subject. If we scroll back up on the page, we can see additional tools on the right. The email link allows you to email the article to yourself to save it for later. The cite link lets you choose a pre-formatted citation from a variety of styles. Remember, you always need to check these for accuracy before including them in your paper. The permalink option gives you a stable URL to let you return to this article in the future or use a URL in your citation if needed. The URL in your address bar is specific to your current browsing session, so it will just give you a generic EBSCOhost page if you try to use it in the future. This tutorial has addressed the basic features of navigating and finding articles in the EBSCOhost databases. If you have any questions about searching in an EBSCOhost database or evaluating the sources that you find there, don't hesitate to get in touch with a librarian.